Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at what's called the Moivre's Theorem and uh, this is obviously a theorem by a guy called de Moivre and what he proved is the fact that if we have cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of n then we can change it, it's like an identity to equal cos n theta plus i sine n theta so if you think about it, cos theta plus i sine theta is like our polar form which then means that what we can do is, if it's to a power of something, it means that we can very, very quickly evaluate that. Now, where this comes in handy is, for example, if I have 1 plus i to the power of 24, if I do that using normal algebra, I've got to use the binomial theorem, and it's going to get messy very, very quickly. However, if I convert it to polar form and then use the Moivre's theorem, I can get this out very, very quickly. So there's a few examples here, as you can see on the slide, that we've got cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 4. Notice that all we do is we bring the 4 and put it in front of the angle, which is theta. So that now becomes equal to cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. Likewise, for this one, we've got cos a plus i sine a to the negative 2. That's fine. It could be a negative number. Bring it down. It becomes cos of minus 2a plus i sine of minus 2a. And does it matter if it's a fraction? Of course it doesn't. The rule is, whatever it is, bring it down, shove it in front of the angle, and the Moivre's theorem has been done. So let's have a look at this first example. So we have cos 45 plus i sine 45 to the power of 8. I'm sure you're all happy now that we could change the notation, should we wish, and we could say that this is cis of 45. Okay, and we're going to do that to the power of 8. Instead, that remember, that's exactly the same thing, it's just the shorthand. And now we're going to use the Moivre. So that means we're going to do cis of, and we're going to bring it in front of the angle. So that means it's 8 times 45. We're going to calculate that out, and that becomes cis 360. Okay, and we are done. If we wanted to put it back into rectangular form, instead of leaving it in polar form, then we can write cis 360 is the same as cos 360 plus i sine 360. And using our calculator, we can work out what cos 360 is, which is 1. And then we can use our calculator again to get i sine 360. So sine 360 is 0, so 0 i. So this answer of cos 45 plus i sine 45 to the power of 8 is equal to 1. Okay, in the second example, what we're going to do is we are going to combine what we've learned today with what we've done in the previous video. And we're going to use the Moivre theorems to write this in the form of cos alpha plus i sine alpha as stated. So let's just write it down first. We've got cos 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta all over cos 3 theta minus i sine 3 theta. Okay, first one's really, really straightforward. It's just cis of 2 theta, and that's to the power of 3. I forgot to put that up here, and this one's to the power of 4, which I forgot to put there, so that's to the power of 3. And the second one look at the way it's set out here so what we have is we have cos 30 minus remember if we're going to be using polar form we can't have this to be a negative so we have to use one of the rules that's in one of the previous videos and that means if we see cos 3 theta minus i sine 3 theta what we do is we change the angle to a negative and it means we can change this to a plus so this becomes a negative and this becomes a plus, which then turns it into polar form. So that there is equal to cos of minus 3 theta plus i sine of minus 3 theta. We're going to put that in underneath. We can change that to be cis straight away. So that's cos of minus 3 theta plus i sine of minus 3 theta. That's the same as cis of minus 3 theta, and that's the power of 4. So just to run through that again, this one's straightforward, just cis 2 theta the power of 3 from here. This one here is not of the correct form. It needs to be plus, so we have to do a little bit of work. We've got to remember that if it's a minus here, what we do in order to get it of the correct form, we change the sign of the angle, and then we can change this to a plus. And we proved that in a previous video. From here, we're now going to use the Moivre. So you can see this is cis 2 theta to the power of 3. We're going to bring a 3 in front of the 2 theta which means we're going to have cis to the power of 6 theta on the top. And on the bottom there, you can see I've got 4 as the power. So minus 3 theta times 4 is minus 12 theta. So I have cis of minus 12 theta. 
Still not quite finished because it wants us of the form cos alpha plus sine plus i sine alpha. And remember, division. If it's division, what we do is we subtract the angles. So what we do here then is this is the same as cis 60 minus minus 12 theta. So 6 theta minus minus 12 theta. Work that out. We get cis of 6 theta plus 12 theta, which is 18 theta. Okay, to finish it off, all we do then is break it up. And we've got cos of 18 theta plus i sine of 18 theta. And we are done. This last slide is just showing the proof of De Moriva, which is on the course. And um, it comes up every second year. So one every, once every two years, I'd expect to see this proof. Now, you at the moment have not seen what we call proof by contradiction, which is the layout of this. So it's just here for completeness sake. Once we do proof by induction, I'll come back and I'll show you how this works. It's very straightforward. It looks quite complicated. It isn't. So once we've done the proof by induction technique, I'll come back and show you how this is done.